For days, we waited with bated breath to see how events in Catalonia would unfold. Terrified we might see a repeat of Spanish authorities brutalising their own citizens for the crime of wanting to vote. As tensions mounted, what did EU elites do? Well, they threatened that if Catalonia did split from Spain, it would be kicked out of the EU. Does that kind of bully boy tactic sound familiar? When the working class people of this country, and it was largely the working classes, voted to leave the European Union, the EU responded with threats to punish us. 16 months on, they're still doing it. Just this week, EU Council President Donald Tusk again refused to start trade talks because they're still not happy with what we've offered. And that's just one example. So why are the bods in Brussels deaf to the voices of working men and women? I'll tell you why. Because Eurocrats are terrified the dream of an EU superstate is disintegrating. And it is. Because you can't keep ignoring the will of the people. You can't dismiss them as ignorant fools. And you can't crush their craving for national identity with threats and violence. The cultural and political elites here and in Spain are learning the hard way that if you ignore the voices of ordinary people, they will revolt. Where to start, Rachel? It's always, Sassi, it always amuses me when you, when you lump together, you know, Rupert Murdoch, the owners of the Daily Mail newspaper, and the people who own the Ritz people, as, the, as the elite, who actually, they're the ones who have orchestrated Brexit. In I'm country. talking but let's about political elites. Let's, let's talk about Spain for a second and what's happening there. And, of course, I, re I regret, and I yeah. think everybody in, in Europe regrets, what happened at the polling booths in Catalonia. I mean, we don't want to see old ladies being dragged out by no, their hair no. and blood on the streets. Nobody does. Um, but just as our referendum was only advisory, not legally binding in law, this, this referendum we wasn't that. even we were legal, Carol. No, it, it was wasn't not it wasn't even legal. legal. But, yeah. but moving on actually to a broader point, which is, in fact, the EU quite likes regional self-determination because the more separate entities there well, are who so. regard themselves as autonomous, the stronger it makes the EU itself, because if you've got, already got 28, well, let's say there are 45, it, basically the EU becomes a committee, and those at the centre of it become ever more powerful. powerful. Ever, you know, the federal system becomes ever stronger. So you've completely you misunderstood, in fact, you, 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 you've completely <laughs> misunderstood, <laughs> completely what, misunderstood. what the EU wants the to Catalan, see happen the throughout Europe. The Catalan independence was, was illegal, but they've asked 18 times they've asked me. They, they wanted what Scotland had. They wanted, they wanted the chance to make their voice is heard, and they were denied that 18 times. So you can't really blame people after that length of time for getting cross, for not they weren't, they weren't being listened to, they weren't being acknowledged, and so they took action. I don't blame them. Well, you can I just show you a clip mm. of what happened after? Now, this was a, this was a, a rally in Barcelona mm -hmm. of people in favour of staying in Spain. Yeah. And that I found quite surprising, look at the numbers. Mm -hmm. And since then, I've tried to find out, OK, who did vote for to leave. 2.3 and and million and people well, in, well, in, well, in Catalonia. So what we need to do, I mean, as it is at the moment, that is not uh, a proper referendum. I agree, partly because of the Spanish it was government. was 90% of the turnout. Sure. But what you need to know, yes, but was the turnout, did, did, did those people, they clearly didn't vote then, because I reckon there was a million people uh, marching, well, they wanted in, vote. marching in favour of Spain. So I agree with you. Mm. If you think, if it, but that's nothing to do with the EU. That's to do with That's the Spanish, will be, yeah. Spain, and the, no, it's not. Okay. It's to do with the Spanish government, and all the all the EU have said is exactly which we discussed yeah, last week. They don't week. want to can, leave can the EU, Carol, but they, they're effective. Well, they've been they... told they won't be allowed to stay. Well, but I that's think what, they that's what they said. Oh, to they will. They will be. They've been told they won't. No, be. That's what they said to the Scots. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly yes. the same. They made no difference. They said, if you leave a member state, and they told the Scots time and again. No, but if you leave a member state, you've got to reapply. That's all they said. I don't, I'm they quite, I mean, you your know obsession what? about the EU means you bring it into every conceivable... Yeah, may, I ask a, may, may I ask a question? Yes, of course. Um, um, I'm sorry for the hypothetical again. Uh, I do apologise. Well, if you were... Like where, where, where did you stand on the Scottish referendum? Were you pro-breakaway or did you want what the I was Scots pro, to stay with us? What, what I, 
You... Will of the people. Don't, of course, let me guess. Of course I would want the Scots to sing with us. I want the UK Why? to be... Why? Because, because I like the United Kingdom. However, yeah. what the Scots the had Spanish a Spanish like Spain. The Scots... Ha the Catalans don't, they? I, but the Scots no, but the Scots like England. And what I'm trying to get at is I think that there is a cognitive dissonance here, and it happens with many people. I don't even know what that means, so, Imagine. Sorry, what is a cognitive sorry, let, dissonance um, there's a, there are two thoughts that are not necessarily aligned mm. in the same person. Right. Um, and a lot of people... You'll be not... telling me I'm stupid next. No, 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 no. I genuinely, anyway. genuinely want to understand mm. something, right? Uh, right. And, you know, I'll help you. And I'm not trying to patronise you, in, uh, honestly, in any Sounds way. Sounds like but... you are. No, I, I genuinely want to understand how some people who support the breakaway of the United Kingdom from the European Union mm -hmm. don't support the breakaway of Scotland from the Union that is the United Kingdom. Likewise, if you support the breakaway of Catalonia from Spain, you don't support the breakaway of Northern Ireland or Scotland no, from the Union. Okay, I'll hold, on, hold on, hold no, on, no, no. I'm just going to finish the, the question. And I really genuinely I'm not trying to patronize you the reform that Brexiteers say was needed in Brussels with the heavy bureaucracy and the wastefulness is what the Scots say about Westminster and of course Westminster does need reform we have an unelected House of Lords, just like mm -hmm. Brussels is unelected. Mm -hmm. And so the same arguments that, only the that commission. Brexiteers... Right. So only the yeah. commission. No, but that's, the, no, but that's Europe, what the Brexiteers so argue. That's my okay. point, right? so, so, so what I will say to yeah. you is the Scots voted to stay. We respect their decision. I'm not Here, asking you about we the voted, Scots. I'm well, asking you about where you, you stand. You just asked me about the Scots, no, no, my friend. I'm asking about where you stand with both cases, not where the Scots stand on one or where you stand on well, the other. Well, doesn't matter where I stand. You're pro-union for the UK, but against the union for Spain. The Scots voted to stay. End of no, story. Not, but where do you I stand? respect that decision. But where do you stand? Okay. Well, it doesn't matter where I no, it stand. It does matter because you gave no, us your opinion it's a, about it's Catalonia. Exactly, it's exactly the same way. Well, it doesn't matter what Theresa May thinks. She you, has a job to do. But, but, Carol, but, but, I want your argument, opinion but on are both you, cases. Are we arguing that, that me, any, any, area, any area in Europe or any area in any country, could London, for instance, decide... Well, Northern actually, Ireland. it's no. more important Northern for Ireland. us... You know, hang on. It's more important for us in London to stay in the EU, and therefore we'd like to break away and stay in the EU. Now, if we... If, That's a really good idea, If, Brett. say, 60, 70% yeah. voted... <laughs> Why have we silly. thought of that? It's, it's a silly argument. argument. No, it's not a silly <laughs> argument. <laughs> it's not a silly <laughs> argument. <laughs> <laughs> Catalan has its own parliament. It has its own leader. So does. It's Greg, you've so just solved the solution. Uh, Scotland, Scotland, well, to the educated elite and break up So do Scotland and Northern Ireland. I'm glad you're having fun with this. I really am. But what I would want to argue about is what we're interested in is the will of the people. And I know you think that's a stupid, stupid expression. But what expression. about the will of the educated elite, Carol, that you so disdain? Greg's just come for up well, had you, a had, had, had you remained as one, I would have respected that. But you didn't. Oh, well, what I, I get really unlike cross Nigel at, unlike, What I get Carol, really cross I at is... No, no, I just want to finish up. What I get cross at is that is the working people of this country, mm. you will not sneer at them all of the time. You sneer at what Thank they you, want. Carol. You sneer at what they believe in. Well, they voted to leave. And you think this guy did Carol, can I ask you a question, though? I'm, I'm slightly oh, confused by your debate because I don't understand what the working people of Britain who voted to leave the EU yeah. has got to do with the Catalonians because surely you should be comparing that to Scotland. Yeah. That, you, you, yeah, that's, that's a false comparison. Do you know what I'm yeah, yeah, I'm confused. Yeah. Like any, those, any, those two provinces and yeah, regions have any Parliament, attempt Scotland to attack the EU. Yeah. What, You're what my whole argument was about, yeah. what my whole, you guys brought Scotland, what my whole argument was about was the no, parallels it's both here and in Spain. The parallels between but, the referendums. Yes, what, not our think, referendum is the EU. If you're confused about what I'm saying, let me tell you what I'm saying. I'm talking about the parallels of what happened in Spain and here. After our referendum here, we have the elites trying to destroy what the people wanted. In Spain, they were trying to oh. destroy what they wanted before the referendum. So why didn't you, why did you not argument. support Scottish independence? Why are you banging on about this? I, that's but, the comparison. Because that's the correct Do you know why I did? The correct because analogy. I'm half Scottish yeah. and half of my family are Scottish yeah. and my views on that Finally could not be made answer. heard. So, yeah. but, but I don't really particularly want the UK to break up. But if the Scots had wanted to leave, I would have completely supported their decision. Well, then that, that's completely. And, and the so what's, and what's the, the confusion Irish there? Well. And the Northern Irish, yeah. 